Hello. Welcome back to the super early morning show. <laughs> Occasional podcast for your ears, for your ear pleasures. <laughs> the pleasure of your ear holes. Yeah. Um. Well, I guess we can take that occasional off now. We've done it. This is. It's like a perfect game. You don't talk about it. As oh, soon yeah. as we say that, yeah. it'll be like, we can't do anything next week. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the podcast where we don't talk about nothing that has to do with nothing. Just whatever we like. So if you are tired of listening. Well, never mind. <laughs> like, why would I be explaining? the podcast if you're listening to it so yeah it's kind of a waste yeah um yeah we got we get we try to come up with topics from time to time and then we answer questions from the one and only question master um wish we had a soundboard we could make it like echo yeah eh, maybe no maybe one i was gonna say maybe one day but chances are <laughs> this is as good as it's gonna get probably yeah <laughs> Um, have you ever put a packet of hot chocolate in your coffee? I know you drink yours black, but nope, it is to die for. So you just take the coffee yeah. and pour hot chocolate into it. Yeah, that's it. Nothing else. Yeah. I'll try it. I put a little, put a little bit half and half in it, and so you do add cream. That's just it. my personal preference. Oh, okay. But I have <laughs> drank it without. Added features. Okay. As in half and half in sugar. But it's it's pretty damn good. All right. I'll yeah. try it. This, that, and that concludes this, this segment of Recipes with Scott. Ooh. Your holiday recipes. <laughs> Next time you're making coffee. <laughs> Take a cocoa packet, open it, pour it in. Bam. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah. Can we top that? I don't know. That's, I, don't know. I guess that's we should like, end, huh? <laughs> You came out swinging for the fences with that one. We're done now. Don't you love it when uh, somebody like leaves a decision up to you and you like think you're doing the right thing, but then afterwards you find out like if you wouldn't have done that, I would have been really mad at you. It seems oddly specific. <laughs> For instance, last night we went to the, the North Myrtle Beach Christmas light show. Yeah. It took two and a half hours to get in, yeah. which was a good time. We, it was me and Christina, the kids, my mom and Jesselyn in my vehicle. Okay. Behind us was my dad and my brother in okay. their vehicle. I, couldn't, I can only imagine what that ride was like with the two of them it was probably <laughs> complete silence <laughs> but anyway so we get through the thing and at the end they have um you know, santa's village at the end have you ever been to this one up here uh like two or three years ago yeah well they have the santa's village at the end so and it was already after eight o'clock the kids go to bed at eight so we get through it it's like eight fifteen. i'm like uh, i don't think i'm gonna go go park and go to santa's village because it's you know it's after eight she's like well i'm just it's up to you i'm fine with anything and mom was like no just go just go just go like leave like go home yeah okay i'm like well they had to she had to get back in her car anyway so okay we get out of the exit and i pull off on the the grass there's like a big nice patch of grass where you can pull off into there's other cars pulled off into there so i'm like (sighs) and she christina kept saying stuff in the back like he's gonna be really upset but i'm okay with anything that you do (laughs) like throwing in these little jabs like um i made the wrong decision and i said just tell me what to do but yeah so we pulled off and we went to san we walked up to santa's village it was a good time but later, she said, if, if you didn't go in there, I would have punched you. 
<laughs> I'm like, well, why didn't you tell me? I said, the only reason why it wasn't it was going because it was already getting late. She's like, well, it's only Christmas once a year. And we don't know what's going to happen next year. So we need to do as much as we can. Like, All right, well, why didn't you tell me that? They're going to cancel Christmas next year? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Who knows? Bo knows. Bo knows best. Um, I'm going to do something real quick. Uh Uh-oh. I'm going to make a little pop here. See if that... No, that's not any better, but whatever. What's wrong with it? I don't know. It seems... Maybe it's just me. It seems low, but it looks like we got a good wave format going on there. (laughs) It's like... (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, well, that's all I... All right, I got. Well, I was gonna say it for the end, but screw it. Screw it. <clears throat> so, real talk. Real talk. Real talk for a second, just a little bit. Isn't that a TV show? Real talk. I guess. Like on HBO or something, late night. Skinamax. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna tell us a story about no, Skinamax? No. Okay. Those never end down good. Okay. <laughs> it was Scott sitting in the bathtub <laughs> crying. Listen. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so, I know the Stereon community is small. There's not as many out there. Right. The Super community, uh, Mark Three, is getting a little bit bigger, but it's still small. Yeah. It's harder. There's a lot of parts that are just really hard to find. Yeah. And there's not as many parts manufacturers as there was at least in the super world for aftermarket or just both like five years ago it seemed oh, like yeah, there was stuff. M- more yeah um so if you have a business where you sell stuff for supras or stereons mm-hmm. and you need help promoting it let us know and we'll help promote you not we're not asking for anything we're just trying to help the Stereon Supra community. Yeah. A, sp- like, a sponsor, if you will, but without... Yeah, we're not asking. In my eye. <laughs> we're not asking for anything. It's just... I don't want to see more businesses go away. It's already hard enough to get parts. So, this is <laughs> like, our way of giving back. I think we just lost Scott. My contact is, like, freaking out. And you can send us an email or... Go to the, the website and, I don't know, DM us. We're on the gram. Yeah. My contact just fell out, I think. Did it? No. It Your didn't. eyes really red. Yeah. I don't know. What that, that was weird. It, like, did a, like, I just get a, a probe by a, an insect? Tall lights. No, I felt like my contact folded in half. <laughs> I don't have contacts, but that sounds painful. <laughs> it's just kind of annoying. But yeah, so just let us know, and we'll uh, we'll help you grow. Not like I mean. No, I was just thinking about it yesterday. Yeah. Like looking for certain parts, it's even some stock stuff. It's hard to find. And I know. Well, it's got to be worse for the the stereo, especially now. Yeah. Because uh, there's supposed to be the heritage program for the Mark III Supra, and yeah. I've heard nothing about it. They were just teasing you. I think they were. I think it was just like, hey, let's try to help build some hype for Supras. Let's play a joke on Randall. Pretty much. Pretty much. No, but there's only, yeah, there's only. I mean, you can go to Rock Auto and find a bunch of, like, OEM stuff. Um, but as far as, like, cylinder heads and stuff like that like good ones good new ones dude went out of business had to sell his stuff 7M's are the same way it's hard to find a head that it hasn't been overheated and it wasn't I don't don't want to get into the whole story or anything but it wasn't due to like the virus or anything like that like leasing stuff but that's not the story for me to tell but as I said before we are happy to help yeah at no charge. Just trying to help the community. Yeah. All right. 
You want to go ahead and questions? Let's do it. Uh, I don't know if it'd be faster to look it up on I think phones I or. Yeah. I think I got it here. So if you'd like your questions answered, go to the SNR Motoring, the Gram, or the YouTube channel. There's one for Mrs. Question Master. Oh, Mrs. Question Master. Oh, gosh. What's the, what's the female version of Master? Go ahead and ask the question. All right. I'll look it up. <laughs> she, I, I think it's still master. I should have I should have changed cups for this. Okay. What is your who's your favorite Disney princess? Uh <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go with Moana. Is that Mo- a- I always kinda think of Moana. I, like that's probably the only. Cause she's not really like. A... Oh, so she's not considered one. No, I'm saying she's not like a, a typical princess. You know, she's like not like uh, dainty. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, f- frilly. She's more man. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> mistress. That's what I was thinking. Mister, <laughs> the question, mistress. That just sounds like bad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to go with. You can't say you can't say Elsa because she's a queen. Okay. <laughs> Thinking. You're putting a lot of thought Thinking. This. Not Little Mermaid because she was just brat. I'm not going to do what you say. Um, (laughs) Okay. (laughs) You have stumped Scott officially. Uh, um, I don't know. I guess I I, I was thinking Moana too before you said anything. So it's... Okay. So Moana, I guess. Okay. Moana... (laughs) Make way, make way. It's like the only, well, I've seen like three Disney movies. I've seen them all. That's one of them. I think that's the only one I like. No, you know what? I take mine back. I like, Belle's a good one. Okay. Belle from Beauty and the Beast. You know. Never seen it. You've never seen Beauty and the Beast? No. What kind of childhood did you have? My, I did not have a <laughs> Disney household. Like, <laughs> no one in my house. Okay. My mom has every Disney Movie on VHS, basically. See, like, that's like my wife. She comes from a Disney household where they like Disney and yeah. watch Disney. It's my family was like, did not care about do whatever you want, boy. Pretty much. <laughs> There's old tire over there to play with that. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, I had to like set mom straight this year for Christmas because every year for Christmas she gets the kids like five Disney DVDs mm. like mom no more DVDs we don't even own a DVD player they're just taking up space yeah we've gotten rid of all of our <laughs> DVDs <laughs> like, just stop she's like well they they, they might want to give them to their kids when they're older do you think they're going to have DVDs when <laughs> They're not going to... It's like laser discs. I actually have a laser disc. Do you? Yeah. Of what? It, so when I ordered that Pennywise record, yeah, it showed up with a laser disc. And I was like, I didn't order this. <laughs> Here's a laser disc. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I going to play I, it on. I don't even know. Like, no, I remember to, looking at it. Like, what is it up? What is this? Does it have a label on it or anything? Yeah. I can't remember what movie it is. Oh, it's an actual movie? Yeah. But I just like put it back in the sleeve and just put it with my records. I think it's still there. You need to get a laser disc player. No. <laughs> I'm sure they're cheap. I'm sure they're pennies. I don't know. How much is a laser disc? Oh, gosh. No, I'm not going to look it up. Okay, good. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I felt kind of bad because it's like a signed Pennywise album about time. Yeah. And it was still like, sealed. It's Pennywise. It's, it's, was, it's not going to be like it's a collector's item. You know? Like the day I got it, I'm like, ooh, right out of the sleeping on the record player. I'm like, I don't care. We're not talking about the clown Pennywise. We're talking about the band. Did you see the new It? No. Okay. Refused. I watched the first one, Mm -hmm. and I hated it. (laughs) It was terrible. I think I'm the only person on the face of the planet who hated it. Really? People. Everyone loved it. Like, look at all the stupid Halloween costumes of everyone. No. Who's wearing Pennywise crap. Tim Curry is way scary. Not saying that dude wasn't creepy, but... It's hard to beat Tim Curry. Well, even without makeup. Yeah, Tim Curry's creepy. He's just a weird looking dude. Do you like going to the zoo? I do, but I haven't been to the zoo. And... All right, what's your favorite animal to see? Uh... I'm going to answer for the kids. Okay. Olivia, the bears. That's how she says it. Beer. <laughs> the bears. <laughs> uh, um, Lucas, uh, he would like like the giraffes and elephants. I think my favorite animal to see. Um, Long pause. No. Nah. Polar bear. I guess. <laughs> I think I'll have to say, go with Olivia on the bears here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, snakes are just boring and I don't they like don't snakes. do nothing. I hate snakes. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll say. Why not penguins? Penguins, penguins are kind of. Cool. Yeah, they're pretty good. But is that a zoo? Or an aquarium? Okay, then I'll <laughs> I'll pick. I'll let you do it. It's fine. Uh, There's no rules here. There's no hold bar. I like sloths. Sloths are kind of cool. I don't remember. Well, we went to the zoo before. And there was like, like a small zoo up in Wilmington that we went to before my bottom fell out. Um. And the last zoo I went to was Wakatee, but that was not <laughs> even count. That was those poor animals. I think that was before Elise was born. It was. They probably got. I think I'm pretty sure they're shut down. I I haven't even. I would hope so. <laughs> I haven't even been over there, and like I've driven down Enterprise, yeah. but I didn't <laughs> pay attention. I mean, they they probably still own the property and everything. But I guess. I, I hope I hope they got shut. Down. I haven't. They were doing. I know we had talked about going to before Rona, uh, going to Columbia, River that Banks. big zoo up yeah. there. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, what has been the most popular S and R motoring episode? Probably, well, all time Mustang versus three seventy. No, all time. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Video. Video. Videos. The Civic? No. Sort by. Because we got a lot of hate for that. Most one too. viewed is the, hey, what kind of car is that? It's <laughs> really? Yeah. That's with, nice. With almost 20,000 views. Wow. Next in line is when we lowered my dad's <laughs> Mini Cooper <laughs> with almost 7,500 views. <laughs> Civic is in third with almost 7,000. <laughs> what? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> What's next? After the Civic? Yeah. Uh, the, hey, what kind of car is that? The Dodge Omni. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> next is a Zulu. Oh, okay. So. With almost 6,500 views. <laughs> so, we. <laughs> about the only cars we really work on is the Conquest slash Sterion and Supra and they come in fourth on the most viewed <laughs> people come to us for hey what kind of car is that <laughs> another yeah. car yeah 
Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is the 370Z versus Mustang. That's got almost 4,000 views. That one's pretty. That one's pretty recent too. So that's pretty good. Um, I think it just shows how big the, <laughs> the Supra stereo community is. Yeah, it's there's just not that many. Wish I could look up <laughs> on here like <clears throat> like this this like past month, but I think you can only do that on the website. Mm. Well, let's move on. Are there any other local YouTubers you all have worked with or met due to the channel? There's a few, but I mean... Local? Like in Myrtle Beach, though? Yeah. I know there's the guy from Columbia. What guy from Columbia? From the drag strip. The guy with the Mustang. Oh. Yeah. I mean, we didn't, like, meet him there or yeah. work with him. But who locally? Um, there is Dr. Garage. He's, um... Oh, that's right. With the dyno, you'd ask him about it? No. He is with uh, Myrtle Beach Drift. He's got an AE86. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's, very, he's I mean, they're, he's small. We're, we're, you know, not tooting our horn, but I think we're the biggest YouTube channel in Myrtle Beach. Not that that's saying much. <laughs> Got to go for something, and, right? Uh, yeah. And there's uh, a <laughs> that that GTR dude or whatever it is with the camo. G- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna talk about that last week. What's up with the the camo theme? Like the big blotchy camo things like vinyl wraps and stuff I don't know people like it I'm guessing you're not a fan no No. not at all that reminds me of Tokyo Extreme Racer yeah but I think everything does yeah there's that Dr. Garage and that GTR dude I think that's what it is. It's like GTR, GTR life. life. Yeah, that GTR life. And uh, there's, there's a couple of other like other ones that I don't even I don't know even the know. name. Dude does it. It's uh, like a WRX, but he just went to all the car meets and stuff and just filmed the cars there. A uh, blue one? Yes. Battle Ready Media? Yeah. I don't think he does it anymore. Oh, okay. I haven't seen any uploads from him. But. Mm. Yeah, there's a few here, but we never like collabed with them that's that's talk in the in the YouTube world collab <laughs> yeah but yeah there's a couple but like I said we never we've never worked with them if you want to work with us then you, <laughs> let us know I guess <laughs> if you're listening to this probably not yeah uh, when cleaning your automobiles, what scent do you prefer to put in them once you're done? I don't want to take the scent that's in them out. That old El natural. That old old car smell the, of oil, burnt oil, and burning coolant. Yeah, it's just a certain smell. That's if they had an air freshener of that, then that's what I would put in. Any. Any MA70 I've ever been in, yeah. they all have the same smell. The interiors all smell the same on them. Yeah. And asbestos. It's great. <laughs> like, I leave the windows down in the garage. So your garage smells like it? Yes. Yeah. And like, every time I walk by it, <laughs> it's a good thing. Yeah. It's the best. It's one of the best smells. Um, have you ever been stuck somewhere? And had to spend a night in your vehicle. No, I'm the, no. I'm the, the only time that we've really been stuck was when we were coming home from Rock Hill, and we were in this, and the drain plug fell out. 
Yeah, we were driving down 95. We were in what, Fayetteville? Going through Fayetteville, I think it was. I just remember. And I looked up and I just saw this humongous cloud of smoke. I'm like, oh my God, something's wrong. So I pulled off and uh, looked under in the car. And all the oil is just draining out. I'm like, oh my I remember your God. turbo was cherry red. Yeah, too. pop the hood. The turbo is as red as that right there. And that was uh, so we had to. <laughs> luckily, I had like triple A or whatever roadside assistance. Yeah, but it took like three hours for dude to show up, and it was he was like peg legged midget. <laughs> <laughs> Who didn't say a word until yeah. we so, pulled into Scott's so, neighborhood. Yeah, it's like a two-hour drive from Fayetteville to Myrtle Beach. And not one word was said for that two hours. Not until we got to your neighborhood, and then yeah. it was just like Chatty Cathy. Yeah, because he wanted a tip. And he didn't get one because I didn't have that much cash. And didn't we get home that night, and your brother was like breaking bolts off in the oil pan on his Lancer? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> he broke eight bolts. <laughs> you think you'd know which way to go by that after one. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was the longest time we had we were stranded. Well, I was stranded. It was about three hours. On the side of the road, two hours away from home. It was a good time. Yeah. Luckily I had another oil pan at home and I just took the drain plug off that and put it in and and luckily I, I turned the car off fast enough. To where it didn't do any damage. Yeah. <laughs> You've never been stranded at all? I'm sure I have, but I just can't think of anything right now. And that's all the questions. So. We're at 27 minutes, so I think we should call it. I mean, I know I started yep. coming up with a list, but I think we should just yeah, that's good. bank those if yeah. whenever the question master goes on vacation yeah all right well that's gonna be it well uh i don't know i'm not gonna say we're gonna see you next week or because we as soon never as know you, as soon as you say that something will happen yeah so yeah thanks for listening thanks for watching um i'll, pro I'll say it in our other video but i'll say it again here uh thank you to snydertron <coughs> 3000 for helping us out getting to 2,000 subscribers uh, by the end of the year. Um, if you have not checked out his channel, do that. If you like um, LS stuff, he's the guy to go to. He's a super cool dude, too. Yep. We call him Lip Boss. <laughs> the Lip Boss. The Lip Boss. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a... <laughs> anyway, see you later. Bye. <laughs>